Praise the Lord, God's children, because this is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Welcome to In the Master's Hands with Elder Anyat Mashi, streaming live from Pakistan. Now, all of the Master's Hands broadcasts are Christian Internet radio and TV talk shows directed at educating, edifying, and helping the body of Christ to gain understanding of God's Word and to know just who they are in Christ Jesus. Today, we are delighted once again to bring back our weekly program with my co-host, Elder Anyat Mashi. And like I said, he's streaming live from Pakistan. So um, if you know that if we followed us in the past, we overcame Pakistani power issues and forged our way into the victory via this program. However, <laughs> on very rare occasions, uh, the Pakistani feed may go off the air just for some weird thing. If that happens, stay with us. We'll continue to broadcast and then we'll bring him back as soon as it, it comes back up. Also, please do not Skype in on, on uh, the, your program during the broadcast because it causes a system overload and it's going to interrupt our programming. Now, I've opened our chat line so you can chime in at any time during the broadcast and we'll address your comments and questions during the discussion period if any of you do. Okay, I'd like to reintroduce my co-host today, Elder Anyat Mashi. Elder, how are you? Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters who are listening to me. And uh, I also very, very delighted in the name of Jesus Christ that I have given the time, I have given the chance, so that the uh, gospel of Lord may be conveyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. So whatever God has given to me, I want that first of all uh, we shall pray. Uh, so that everything may be very, very blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Go right oh. ahead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, our Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I am so thankful. Because you put us on this earth alive so that today this message may be delivered in the name of Jesus. And I, it is my humble request that who are listening this word of God, my dear brother, my dear sister, my children, who are listening, may be very, very blessed in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, my heavenly Father, I am nothing at all. I am just only very weak in every way. But, uh, hallelujah, your power of Holy Spirit is with me, so that I am very thankful. Uh, so the, so. Lord, I request you, I request you, fulfill me, I heart with the Holy Spirit so that every word, everything, every pen, whatever be uh, uh, delivered to my dear brothers, sisters, and children may be very, very blessed in the name of Jesus so that this, uh, this time while we are listening this message, this word of God, Pour in our hearts and our heart be filled with the love of Jesus Christ. And mean in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, first of all, I am very thankful to the Lord. Thanks even to the Lord that this time is very blessed. This is given us to us and this is a very precious time. Because we don't know on this earth about our life. But there is a very, very alive hope in our heart that we have a alive hope before us. That if we are alive, then that's okay. If we are dying, that, then this is okay. Because as Paul says that uh, as we are alive, it is a it is a blessing for me. But if I am dying, it is a profit for me. So, my dear brother, today, whatever given to me, the plan of Lord, it is a very, very blessed day that all over the world today is celebrating the Good Friday. All over the world. And this day is very, very important in the believer's life because the blood of Jesus purifies 
द ब्लड ऑफ जीजस इज अल्वेशन फॉर अर्थ बिकॉज द ब्लड ऑफ द जीजस दैट इज शेड अपॉन द क्रॉस इज द सल्वेशन इज द हीलिंग फॉर आवर फ्रॉम आवर डिजीजेज एंड ऑल आवर प्रॉब्लम ऑल आवर सफरिंग आर रिमूव इन द नेम ऑफ जीजस बाय द ब्लड ऑफ जीजस आई मीन सो माई टॉपिक टूडे इज द क्रूसिफिकेशन ऑफ गॉड एंड द क्रूसिफिकेशन ऑफ गॉड इज द ग्रेट प्लान ऑफ आवर लॉर्ड सो दिस डे वी विल लर्न and i request you that while we are listening you also pray for me so that all the things whatever be discussed whatever be conveyed may be very very blessed so that we i also be blessed and you also be blessed so first of all we will read the scripture john 17 and verse 4 This is the main uh, verse today for me. Here we can read, "I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do." I mean, my dear brothers, the word of God. is very blessed for us because this is the light for us and while we read we are blessed in the name of him and this time the word of god which which is said i have glorified you on the earth jesus are saying to the father i have glorified you on the earth i have finished the work which you have given to me to do my dear we can see that when this earth was made then everything was created then there was everywhere the spirit of lord the soul of lord which hovered upon the uh, over the earth and that was a very good time very blessed time when everything was proper everything was happy but when the sin came everything was changed and the the man was also suffered in the sin and then we see that how the lord made a plan to send his son in this world and 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 that time a great task was given to us given to us and while we are celebrating this day the good friday today here every year we read and we recall the word of lord but perhaps we don't understand we don't believe we don't keep in our mind that there is a great plan that was given to once a uh, time his son i have and, and then when jesus finished his task on the cross then he we, we can see that the whole the task that was given to him that was finished now it is while we are leading our life in this earth upon this earth we have to understand that whatever jesus finished the work what at what place we are while we are glorifying the jesus christ with with our deeds with our task which is given to us if we are glorifying 
then that's okay. Because so that we can see, we can say while we depart from this earth that, Oh Lord, Oh Jesus, I have finished the work which you have given to me to do. My dear, this is the main point. That while we are upon this earth, what are we doing? At what place we are? So, my dear, this is the very, very blessing time so that we understand that where, where we are, what are we doing? As we are following, as we are preaching, as we are doing whatever the given the task to us, if we are teachers, at what, at what kind of preaching we are uh, preaching the, our students? If we are a doctor, are we, are we uh, doing the deed for the patient with love, with kindness? If we are businessmen, what kind of we, we are doing our task? If we are the uh, pastor, if we are the evangelist, whatever we are doing. So my dear, it is very, very important while we are living our life in this earth, at what place we are and what are we doing? doing? Because God knows everything. What are we doing? What is in our heart? So that is very, very important that we have to know, we have to we have to understand that what we are doing. So, so my dear, I, I also request you, who our, who, wherever we are listening this word, we should understand that we, if we are glorifying the Lord, or if we are, if, if, if we are glorifying the devil, what are, what are, at what stage we are? So, uh, my dear, we have to understand so that we may uh, uh, read uh, further uh, John uh, chapter 17, John chapter 17 and verse 14 uh, to 18 we shall read. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sensify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. So therefore, uh, my dear, uh, here we can see that this this is the word of Lord in our hand, and this is this is from our Jesus Christ, from our Lord. So that if there no matter the world hated us, hates us, no matter we are tortured in in this uh, life, no matter. We are suffered, but we have to understand that if we, uh, while we are living in this world, as Jesus said, I am, I am not in the world. I am not for the world. I am not uh, 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 about the world. Uh, in this way, uh, the believers uh, have to understand that uh, if we will suffer. If we will indulge in the uh, world matters, then there will be very, very uh, uh, loss for us. And we will uh, lose our uh, thought that is given to us. But my dear, the word of Lord is truth. Word of Lord is truth. Hallelujah. And the truth will uh, 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 free us from the devil because it is the word of God. So the, my dear, today, are all about to do the task, however, the, the, the Jesus may uh, have to uh, do the, all the um, crucifying uh, on the cross. 
So, uh, my dear, we shall read today that uh, why, why our Jesus Christ uh, went on the cross for us. So, we shall read uh, John 18, John 18. In some verses we shall uh, discuss uh, specially. Here we can see how Jesus was uh, sent uh, on the cross. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with the disciples over the uh, brook Kazanun, uh, uh, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. And Jesus, who uh, better yard him, uh, also knew the place. But Jesus often met there with his disciples. Then Jesus, having received a uh, detachment of troops uh, and officers from the chief uh, priests and priests, came there uh, with uh, lanterns, torches, and weapons. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that would come upon him, went forward and said to them, Whom are you seeking? Whom are you seeking? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am. This is the truth, my, my dear. They are searching for the Jesus Christ. There are many troops, there are many soldiers, and so many people, and they are searching for, for the Jesus, and they, they ask to Jesus. But, and Jesus said, well, truth, I am. I am. And we see here that, uh, and Judah, who uh, betrayed him, also stood with them. Now, when he said to them, I am, he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Then he asked them again, whom are you seeking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Therefore, if you seek me, let this go their way, that he saying he might uh, be fulfilled with them. He spoke of those whom you, you gave me, I have lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest servant and uh, uh, cut off his right ear. The servant's name was uh, Melchus. So Jesus said to Peter, put your sword into into sheep. Shall I not drink the cup which me which my father has given me? The special words here we can see Jesus said to Peter, put your sword into the seat. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? We shall see about the what was the cup that was that was necessary to drink for the Jesus Christ. My dear Hallelujah. This is a very, very main point that while Jesus was sent in this earth and that a very great task was given to him. And here we can see that, that that cup was, that bowl was filled with the sins of the world. And and uh, and it was very, very difficult, very, very difficult, so that all the world sins, maybe, uh, uh, burden upon the Jesus Christ. But here we can see, shall I not drink the cup? Cup, drink, 
it, it we can say is that it according to we have to fulfill the uh, will of the lord the, the jesus also have to fulfill the uh, word of lord and this this was uh, the uh, plan of the lord that was made that jesus jesus has to uh, do all these things that was given to him so that our 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 uh, sins may be removed so that it was very important that uh, uh, jesus have to uh, uh, go to the calvary hallelujah so so we can uh, see here that uh, 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 this great task was done by jesus christ and while we see in verse 22 uh, 22 and uh, when he had said these things one of the officers who stood by struck jesus with the uh, palm of his hand saying do you answer the high priest like that so uh, my dear uh, while we read the chapter 18 john here uh, we can thoroughly uh, understand uh, how jesus was uh, captured how jesus was arrested how they took Jesus to uh, and blamed him uh, uh, everything and so that we can see that Jesus and when he said these things so while Jesus was saying to them that uh, Jesus uh, they struck Jesus with the palm of his hand and saying do you answer the high priest like that Jesus answered him if I have spoken evil, be a witness of the evil. But I, if well, why do you strike me? Then, then Anas sent him born to Capian, uh, uh, the high priest. And now Simon Peter stood and warned himself. Therefore, they said to him, you are not also one of his disciples. Uh, here we can uh, uh, see uh, uh, about the uh, Peter also uh, who refused about uh, the Jesus. But my dear, while we are living in this world, we have to see, we have to watch how we are, how we are following the Jesus Christ. If sometime we have to turn in any way, just like Peter, why are we refuse? Are we uh, 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 deny anything? I do not know, my dear. It is a very important that we have to accept, we have to discuss, we have to deliver that we are the followers of Jesus Christ. So, my dear. Uh, here, here we can say that uh, so many blames were uh, 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 blamed uh, over Jesus Christ, but we can see that uh, uh, everything, everything that was that was the cause of suffering from Jesus Christ, he bared over the cross, and uh, uh, we can. Uh, see, uh, uh, my dear, all this was done for me so that we may be removed, may, we may be purified in the with the blood of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus is shed for my sins, for my diseases, for my uh, every uh, every suffering. So uh, we shall see the, all, all about it, why it was done. Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, because it was the prophecy. Just, uh, just uh, six to seven hundred before the Jesus Christ, how uh, Jesus will uh, come in this world and he will have to suffer uh, in, in this world. 
so we can uh, read about it chapter 53 and verse 4 to 12 we shall see about it hallelujah chapter 53 and verse 4 surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement chest, uh, chest for our peace was upon him. And by his the tribes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before uh, its children uh, is silent, so he opened not his mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear, we can see here this prophecy that was said 700 before by Isaiah prophet about the Son of God. And we can see here that just as we see in the uh, chapter uh, 18 John and other in, in chapters how the crucified uh, Jesus Christ crucified uh, and so this prophecy uh, is fulfilled uh, in this uh, the New Testament and but here we can see that he had no sinner there was no sin in him but he 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 was that just like a lamb, and he is, he did not did not say anything. He and he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. Today, while we are uh, celebrating, while while we are praying. And in the day of uh, uh, Good Friday, then we can uh, recall in this uh, incident that was took place on the Calvary for the transgression of my people he was taken. And they made him grave with the wicked. Oh, hallelujah. But now we can, uh, there we are, um, uh, Celebrating this, but when we will uh, celebrate the death reduction, then we will see that his grave is, oh, hallelujah, empty. And Jesus is not in the grave. So, my dear, while uh, uh, I, I am uh, uh, saying you uh, these words, we can see the love of our great love. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this is a great task is done for us. And this is a great plan of the uh, Lord that was made to send his son in this world for my salvation, for your salvation. And we can see that uh, 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 this, this was very, very cursed uh, uh, death on the cross, but Jesus suffered for me and for you. Hallelujah. And I, I, I can say that this is the fragrance of Lord. Hallelujah. My dear, while, while, while we are uh, uh, listening this day, this is, a, this is a very, very important for me and you that we put in our heart that this was the, this was the love, great love of Hallelujah. That he gave his only forgotten. Amen. So that Amen. we may be saved in the uh, 
in, in, from our skin. You now, my dear, we can uh, see uh, how uh, this fragrance is uh, for me and you. Uh, uh, how Paul says in the New Testament, and we can see Ephesians, Ephesians chapter five. Ephesians chapter five, and the uh, the Paul says. Verse 1 and 2. Hallelujah. We can see here that the great love of Jesus. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as, Jesus, as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling hallelujah aroma it is it is the great love of God that is that is completed for me that is finished hallelujah that is that task was finished on the cross just like the fragrance and it is a great sweet smelling for us. So my dear, how can we uh, be saved without this? How can we be we were careless uh, from the great salvation of Lord? So my dear, it is very important that while we are recalling all the incidents, while, uh, while we are remembering, while we are uh, listening the word of God, we can keep in our heart that uh, Jesus' love is great and the, and, and the uh, plan of Lord is great that he crucified his only for God himself. Hallelujah. And now I, I want to say to you that uh, if we understand about it, that Jesus' blood is shed for me, then we can understand that we are not ours. ours. We are bought by the blood of Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, so for this we can see uh, first, uh, first Corinthians chapter 6. First Corinthians and chapter 6 and verse 19 and 20. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here we can read, or, or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, uh, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit with our God. Hallelujah. My dear, while we uh, buy a uh, uh, thing, we are, while we, while we, while we buy uh, some uh, one sheep, some one, uh, any an animal, so that uh, we love, love it. And he he, he has to do as we say to him. So it is very, very important that while we understand about it, that Jesus of blood is shed for me, and so that now I am not my own. I am bought with the Jesus of blood, and the uh, uh, blood of Jesus circulates in me. And while blood of uh, Jesus circulates in me, then it is very, very important that our body should be the temple of Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, and now uh, we shall go ahead. Uh, how Paul says in the uh, Philippians. So then uh, we shall uh, read the Philippians chapter 2. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear, here we can read verse 5. Let this mind be in you, 
which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in uh, appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has, uh, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Hallelujah. I mean, my, my dear, all the uh, listeners who are listening to me, this is, this is the picture, and uh, this is the same way as we are listening, that how Jesus was at the, at the place, at the, at the shape of the Lord, and he has the authority of every, every, uh, everything, but even, even we can uh, see that that uh, in the verse 6, uh, as we see in the verse 6, who being in the form of God, did not consider it properly to the equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of born servant and coming in the likeness of man, while we are in this world. Uh, for a while understand whatever we do. If we are if we are at a high stage, what is our behavior to others? What is our attitude to others? What are we doing? Jesus was at the shape of uh, here we can see uh, that he was in the form of God, but he did not consider it properly to be equal with God. So, so, my dear, while we are in this world, we have to understand that what our place, what are, what is our rank, what is our status, but we, we have to be very, very humble, just like Jesus Christ. As we see the picture, but made him of no reputation. So, my dear, then what will what will God behave to us? As we see that therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. While we, we will do this, that we will be also exalted in the name of Jesus and there will be no fear, there will be no robbery, there will be no every circum, circumstances will be in the hand uh, of Jesus Christ, and we will uh, be progressive in every every way. But my dear, if we will uh, remain in, in the sin, then oh, this is very very dangerous thing, and we have, we will have to see that what is the wages of sin, as uh, as we see Roman. Romans chapter 6 and verse 13. Hallelujah. My dear, this is very dangerous thing. We should understand that uh, uh, what our uh, word of God says. And we should understand, knowing this, uh, Romans chapter 6 and verse 5 to 9 we shall see. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be uh, in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. For he who has died has been spread from sin. I mean, now, if we died with Christ, 
we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, having been dead from the dead, dies no more, that no longer has dominion over him. So, my dear, it is very, very important that if we are die with Jesus Christ, then we shall be have the eternal life. Hallelujah. And verse 23, 23 is teaches us for the wages of sin is death. If we are in Jesus Christ, if we are died with Jesus Christ, then we have no fear because Jesus is with us and we have got the uh, uh, abundant life. Hallelujah. But if we are in in sin just, like, just now, then we should understand that wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. My dear, this is the word of God that teaches us because the uh, gift of God is eternal life. Now, we have to uh, uh, decide. We have to decide at what stage we are that if we want to live in, lead our life in the sin, then there is death. But if we want that we should uh, get the gift of God, that is eternal life, there is no death, no mourning, no, uh, no hunger, no thirst. So therefore, it is very important that we that we get the gift of God. Hallelujah. For mm -hmm. that is the uh, uh, eternal life. So my dear, it is very important. Jesus is victorious because he has defeated the sin. Hallelujah. He has defeated the devil. And uh, 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 my dear, it is very, very important that God, that our Jesus Christ, uh, of course, suffered with the cross. That was the cursed uh, death. But nowadays, we are the blessed person upon this earth. Because if the blood of Jesus runs through our life, circulates our life, then we are the blessed person. Because we can see that uh, uh, that, uh, that that is said uh, in uh, in uh, First Corinthians, First Corinthians and chapter uh, 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. And verse 55, Oh, death, where is your suffering? Hallelujah. I mean, my dear, oh, death, where is your sting? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is your, uh, where is uh, your victorious? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. So, my dear, Today, we have to understand that Jesus is victorious, and we are his believers, and we have believed upon him, and we have come to know that the blood of Jesus is the cause of my salvation. So therefore, it is very important that, that while we are uh, listening to the word of God, uh, uh, maybe, maybe change our life and we should understand that without the believing on the cross, without the, uh, without understanding that the blood is, blood of Jesus is my cause of my Savior, we are nothing and we will be, uh, we will suffer and we will, uh, we will, uh, we will put into the hell. So therefore it is very important while we are uh, listening to the word of God, uh, let us accept Jesus Christ. That is our uh, Savior. And uh, uh, today, this day be blessed in our life so that the word of God may be very, very blessed for us. Amen. Amen.
and me. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Yacht, uh, Thank you, Elder Yacht. Um, for sharing that wonderful message. You know, right now, if you desire to come into and dwell in the miraculous presence of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, if you desire to be in Christ and avail yourself of his marvelous wisdom, you must give your life to him, as uh, Pastor Inyat has said. So it's very simple. It's pain-free. Just repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner, and I surrender my life to you. I believe that you are the Son of God, and I believe that you died for me, and <clears> then <throat> you set me free from all eternity for all my sin. I believe that you rose from the dead and sit at the right hand of God the Father. Take over my life and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I renounce the devil and all sin. Lord, I receive from you the gift of righteousness, total forgiveness of all my sins, past, present, and future, divine health and wholeness and restoration, your protection, your direction, your provision, and your peace, and the gift of everlasting life. I'm yours. Come into my heart and take over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with us, then you're born again. Hallelujah. Welcome to the family of God. And if you have prayed that prayer and asked Jesus into your heart, please contact us to let us know so we can follow up and send you more information. If you're in Pakistan, contact uh, uh, Elder Anyat Mashi because he's the one that will lead you in, in your own language and, know, and you'll have better understanding. <laughs> if you're in the United States, feel free to contact me. Now, um, one of the things that I would like to say here is uh, kind of a reminder, um, uh, first of all, that... <clears throat> This may be important to you guys, and maybe it won't be, but um, there is uh, a new a blood moon coming tonight. Uh, for you guys, it's tomorrow night for us. But anyway, uh, you may see it at moonrise tonight. On April 15th, 2014, last year, there was a total lunar eclipse, and it was the first of our uh, four consecutive total eclipses in a series. That's known as a tetrad. The second eclipse took place on October 8th last year, 2014, and the remaining two eclipses take place uh, this year, April the 4th, which is the third for you people, uh, the, the way that the, the world uh, you know, revolves. Anyway, April, uh, April 3rd, 2015 for you peoples, and for me peoples, 2015 tomorrow. <laughs> Remember, the last one is September 28th, which would be the 27th for you. Uh, it's one of eight tetrads during the 21st century. They are very rare and as with most eclipses the moon appears red during the, the, uh, the like tonight uh, is it, the eclipse will turn the blue the moon red. I'm sorry I can't get it out of my mouth. Um, the red color is caused by Rayleigh which is the scattering of sunlight through the Earth's atmosphere and it's the same effect that causes sunsets to appear red. But um, it's doing this just only to the moon. Now, the idea of a blood moon serving as an omen of the coming of the end times comes from the book of Joel. So it's scriptural, and where it's written, the sun will turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. Uh, now, this phrase is again mentioned by St. Peter during Pentecost, as recorded in Acts, uh, although Peter says the date uh, is not some future date, was the fulfillment of Joel's prophecy. The blood moon also appears in the book of Revelation, chapter 6, verses 11 through 13, where verse 12 says, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Now, for we Christians, these blood moons have great significance scripturally. They mark the uh, beginning of the end times or the significance of the end times and, and the period that we're living in. Um, I know that uh, Elder Anyat Mashi will be able to explain that better to you if you contact him. But it's very important that we understand them. Um, I know you'll want to see them because it's a, really a sight to see. I always go out and I, I go online with, um, here in the United States, there's a... a an observatory that I can hook up to and they they stream it live so I can sit here in my office and watch it <laughs> and then I run outside and look at it for real you know so and um, it takes three hours to, to see it in its fullness it starts out looking like any other moon and then it starts to get darker and darker gray and darker gray and then it will eclipse and then it comes out uh, red now it's not deep red like blood red that we see it's more of a rosy uh, sunset red but it's still a blood moon and that's what that's known as this is the third in the tetrad which and when there's four in a row like that they happen every six months in sequence so that in September will be the last one and they earmark uh, catastrophic events 
end time events in the Bible. So I thought you might want to know and uh, about that and remind you about it so that you can run outside tonight and watch the moon turn blood red. Um, my brother, is there anything that you want to tell us about what's been going on in, in your ministry over there? I know that there's uh, there's a lot of unrest, folks, right now in Pakistan. And, and uh, we are here in America are cheering for you. We're praying for you. We're keeping you lifted up before the Lord. Uh, Elder Mashi? Anything? Yes, my dear sister, it is a very, very blessed for us that uh, you are in the state and we are in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, wherever we are, we remember and we recall before Jesus Christ and we pray uh, uh, for each other so that wherever we are, we be blessed in the name of Jesus. And uh, we are we were very delighted that uh, it is a great, great blessing that uh, you pray for uh, our uh, for, for us Amen. for Pakistan Amen. so that our our country may be very 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 precious very prosper in every way so Amen. so uh, therefore my dear sister we also pray for uh, every person because Jesus came in this world for all over the world Amen. so that any person may believe upon him and not, not perish Mm -hmm. So, my dear, it is very, um, very important, and uh, when we will celebrate uh, the Resurrection Day uh, on Sunday, yes. uh, it is my message that uh, uh, we, wherever we are, we are in state, we are in Pakistan, we are in India, we, where we are, we uh, we believe upon the Jesus Christ that He has risen, Hallelujah, from the grave, and He is alive. He is among us, and he is, he is our good shepherd, and we can't do uh, anything without. I mean, amen. Uh, uh, <laughs> and and uh, 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 except all this, um, I also want that, uh, uh, my dear sister, it is while we are passing through the uh, last days, no matter. Whatever the circumstances, whatever, uh, whatever we are uh, suffered, whatever we are tortured, no matter. That's right. Amen. We are, <clears throat> we are victorious, yes. and we have a life hope in our heart because if if we die, uh, no 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 Amen. fear, no matter, uh, we will be forever in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And Amen. it will be. Very, very blessing for us. You and know. Now, uh, um, now uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. is also here, and uh, if you want to ask some uh, thing, uh, Nasser, uh, dear son is also here. Uh, so please talk to him. Oh, Nasser is there. Okay. Nasser is here. Oh, hallelujah! Uh, <laughs> That's great. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good morning, Mama. It's good to see you and your beautiful bride. <laughs> uh, Nasser, can you tell us a little bit about your your uh, evangelistic ministry over there um, and what's going on with you guys? I know that you're busy doing a lot. I, I get uh, emails from you all the time. So can you share with our listening audience a little bit? Yeah. Uh, we are thankful for this time. Uh, just we came ba back from uh, a, a meeting. Mm -hmm. We share with photos with you very soon. Thanks, Lord. God is working uh, here. And please, um, all the listeners, please keep us in your prayers because we need your prayers. Because without prayer, we are nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we are uh, in these days. We are uh, also working in, especially in outreach areas. Uh, and in this time, because our country, uh, uh, although we, all the world is suffering from many problems, so this is the time to pray for each other. We are here in Pakistan. We also need prayers, and we also keep you in prayer. Praise Jesus. Yeah, this is my little um, uh, message from all the listeners. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Thank you so much. We keep you lifted up in prayer. I know that you guys go into some pretty, you know, dangerous areas. And uh, 
and God just is keeping you lifted up and and in his bosom so that you're safe at all times uh, I I know that uh, um, Nasser has a wonderful evangelistic effort going on over there and I want you to know all the listeners that if you need to you can contact him um, on uh, you can contact Elder Anya Mashi and you can reach him that way too but but he's also on Facebook Nasser Javid and he's on Facebook and his ministry is he spells out what's going on over there and what you can do to help them uh, through prayer or anything that the God lays on your heart um, so you want to go on his Facebook page it's Nasser N-A-S-I-R Javid J-A-V-I-D and um, and you can contact him that way by giving him a message and he will keep you updated on what's going on in their evangelistic ministry if you want to contact Elder Ainyat get an uh, um, and get aid to the people in Pakistan or just want to visit with him or share with him or have him minister to you um, then please contact him at uh, Elder Anyat Mashi it's E-L-D-E-R I-N-A-Y-A-T M-A-S-I-H at gmail.com that's Elder Anyat Mashi at gmail.com you can um, also contact him through our website I'll get a message to him that's the masters touch dot org let me remind you that you can hear Elder Mashi streaming live directly from Pakistan every Friday at 7 a.m. Pacific time that's our time zone and that's 7 p.m. in your Pakistani time zone we are so excited to have you all back I'm you know we've we had about a year of hit and miss and couldn't get to each other and now we're we're back and reunited like a family that we are and we just love you and we just want to lift you up and keep you before the Lord and help you in any way that we can to reach out to the lost and to the suffering and and those people that need ministering to so keep us posted as we go and we'll keep broadcasting and letting you know letting people know what you need to now, I invite you all to tune in on Fridays to receive a blessing and message from Elder Anyat Mashi right here. And uh, everyone is welcome to join us. So remember, Proverbs 4, 7 tells us that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. My friends, that's exactly what we're doing here. We're gaining God's wisdom. So be sure to keep Jesus Lord of your life. The Master's Hands uh, is a subsidiary of the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International. We're a 501c3 organization. To contact the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry, uh, our website, www.themasterstouch.org. Email us at masterstouchhs at cox.net. That's masterstouchhs at cox.net. Poet at cox.net or mthsprayer at cox.net. We give you every opportunity to get in touch with us <laughs> in every way possible. Um, God bless you. Have a wonderful Resurrection Sunday. And keep Jesus, Lord of your life. Remember Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Mm -hmm.